Hello, today I have a pyjama top and pants. My customer want to make one cup shorter. So in this case, the finish of the new hem, the cup should be stay somewhere here. It means the new john will start from here. We cut from the middle line up one centimeter and then from the middle line we cut down one centimeter for sewing and both of them after we sew it will meet at this line and now I cut one centimeter all around this foot And now from the shoulder to shoulder, I want to make sure both of them stay the same. And and the pants we will do the same. If you want to do exactly like the original, uh, not the shortcut way, you need to unpick this one and then unpick one more line inside here and then you can take the pant off and after that you put this one back on and um, by this way it looks like you make the new binding for the for the pants and this way it will take you uh, very much longer than the, sh the shortcut way i am showing you uh, would you please support me to give me subscribe like and share my channel and press the icon button to get my new video from my job every day i have an idea for you uh, when you cut the cup off uh, remember to mark left side to go with left side right side to go with right side another idea i want you to focus before you sew both of them together because we cut it shorter, so the more we go up, the bigger we have. So in this case, we have to check everything before you sew. If you find the top one bigger than the original one here, you need to tap this side in to match with the new cuff. When you cut it, if you forgot to mark left side with left side, right side with right side, um, it's not too late because you still can work it out. The back of the pants usually bigger than at the front. So you work out from the inside leg. And then this, the top one shoulder, it means the top one is at the front. And uh, you should check it again inside leg to go with the inside leg here and then you can paint this usually when you cut it up the uh, width of the um, cup is not the same anymore so in this case you have to do again okay it means the pants have total one centimeter bigger so now I have to make it smaller. And then slightly. In and in. Yeah. If you see the joint here, it's main inside leg. Okay, inside leg and inside leg together. And this part to take, so I want to make the same is the same, but one overlocker go that size, this overlocker go this side. And now I just sew half centimeter only. 
because I don't want to sew on the blue one. The blue one is the binding one. And then we have another seam here, so seam to go with seam again. I have another tip for you. When you have something a little bit long and then you want to sew together, uh, you better stretch both of them and then you cut the middle and then you sew a little bit and then you cut the middle again but that way if you have some fabric a little bit over left over and uneven with the top one it can spread um, everywhere the same Okay, now we just overlock this one, but before we overlock, I want to make sure you don't sew on the blue binding here. Yeah. After I finish the overlock, I usually lock the end of the thread to make it stay, stay. and then I cut it. And now we cannot leave it like this because it looks very ugly. So now we have to find the inside leg here. And then we put this one in much as we can. Take the blue one up. And then you put the new seam in. And then you sew it very rear here. Okay. Yeah. And then the blue one, sky blue one, will cover the new stitching nicely and you can't see it and put seam the same seam and close much as you can and we now one stitching down and then make sure at the bottom free and then you put this one in and in much as you can yeah and so on Okay, one thing I want to remind you, uh, when you sew it, remember time to time you lift the foot up uh, to make both of them even flat down because if you keep going, going, and uh, this side stay more than this side and then you will see the crook on this side. So um, a little bit about five or six centimeters, take the foot up and then we make sure it even again yeah and then up again yeah okay okay it's a finished now and then you can't see the john because the john stay inside here yeah 
So that is all for today. Uh, but one thing I would like to share with you. Um, another type of the pizza must they use a round coat like this to put along here. And in that case, I do a little bit different. So please view the link below uh, to compare this type and the flat type. Okay, thank you very much for your watching. Uh, see you in next video.